Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the final two episodes of The Bad Batch. That came up a lot quicker than I was anticipating. Um, so yeah, I guess they're gonna wrap up the, you know, the Bad Batch crew is gonna combine with Rex and Echo, I imagine and they're gonna go get to the base to get crosshair, but also investigate into this uh, cloning business. There's a lot of fishy things and things they wanna check out. So this will be interesting, um, exciting. So hope you are ready to roll like I am. So let's get to it. Bad Batch, season two, episode 15. Arkans compound on Iriadu. If we Iriadu. do a covert infiltration, we can plant a homing beacon on Hemlock's ship. We have not always agreed with Crosshair, but he is still our brother. We do not leave our own behind. Wow. If there's a chance to get him back, we have to take it. Definitely. I feel like that's a change Rex of is on a separate pace mission, for tech. So not that he didn't care just before, us. but... There's our shipping. So, you were just going to leave without saying goodbye. That is correct. <laughs> Did you require a briefing? You know, when two friends are talking, it's called a conversation. <laughs> See you around, brown eyes. Mm -hmm. He's, he's thinking about it. Oh, gosh. I love that subtlety. She's saying, I want you to come back. Ugh. This guy. You guys don't deserve that armor. You ain't clone babies. Now that we're all finally here, we can begin. Finally here. A suitable location to land. They're eating Outside sushi. Their range. Cute. How are we bypassing those cruisers? Using a clearance code Rex and I acquired from one of our contacts. Penny. Don't show the people your butt. No tanks and no explosions this time, Rekka. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting conveyor system. Is it supplies they're transporting? The compound is heavily fortified. They can go on one of those things. But there's a weak point in the rail line that we can it must explore. be precise. They're gonna ride on one of the boxes and. Whoa! I can handle it! <laughs> Bro. He's. The amount of confidence. To like. Pull yourself on this really tall tower with a huge drop point. Oh, you know, like he... oh gosh, I didn't realize they would just be hanging on the side there, but I guess that makes sense. And it's all shoot to kill for these guys. Ain't no studying involved. Where allegiances were once divided. We must establish a comprehensive strategy for galactic unification. Is that the guy from Rogue One? dissent and rampant self-interest. The funding you have requested, Hemlock, is quite substantial. Science is not something you rush. And with more clone troopers being decommissioned, I have found a new purpose for them. Test subjects to aid in my research. There are many in the Senate who are fighting for clone rights. If word of this gets out, it could prove detrimental to our goals. The location and operations under my purview are far from the eyes and ears of the Senate. I served with the clones for many years. They are cunning warriors, loyal to the end. Are we all willing to just dismiss them out of hand? Wow. I also served with the clones and found them, at times, to be very unpredictable. Under Jedi leadership, they adopted a concerning level of individuality. Commander Krennic. Yes, it is him! to the status of Project Stardust. Did he voice it? Yes, Governor Tonkin. This, this is the growing, the this is the Rebels timeline. <laughs> you two, plant the humming beacon. Oh. Uh. My tummy! I'm pinned down. Stay in position. <laughs> Oh, I feel 
still be on. He was doing his job. Someone is targeting this base. One charge will not cause much damage. Good thing we have more. <gasps> Didn't expect to find you two here. Saul Guerrera. Uh. I told you on Onderon you had a choice to make. Looks like you've chosen. I'm leveling this compound, along with all the Imperials inside it. Can't let you do that. They're like, We're tracking wait. one of the officers. We need to find his base. Can you just delay your explosions? Prisoned, including one of our own. You Man, the timing. Me to call this off to save a few prisoners. Sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. Woo, you've always have been intense, now. Saw. A security team's been alerted. Hey, Wrecker. <laughs> when a body goes flying, it's Wrecker. Wow, they're letting Omega stand up front? I mean, she's skilled, but man. I wonder if there was anyone else. Oh, no. Oof. Oh, snap. There goes the trap, the homie beacon, that whole... Yeah, and you're at the very top. Just because that room's explosive proof don't mean below it is. Oh crap, now what? Get your parachutes out, boys! Is going to be a problem. Wow. Yeah, so this was a really good episode. Again, I love those chase escape scenes and that, like, seeing the coordinated them fighting and, like, watching each other's back, somebody managing the doors, and like, they've worked so well together that they just all automatically kind of take these positions and just pick up on that, so that's really awesome. Did not expect to see Saw and his uh, extremist rebellion crew, so that was really cool. Um, and yeah, like, it was definitely hinting towards it. They're like, is there somebody else in the middle of a plan? Good thing on the timing, like, good thing they didn't show up after they were vacating so that was interesting yeah just timing on that to run in them directly in that space all that was for nothing because that whole beacon that was a whole point got destroyed hemlock and them are kind of locked down they're in a really precarious situation being in this rail card thousands miles above this ravine, we don't even know what's below these clouds down there. Now, the thing that's good is that there's just all these explosions. There's not like current mad rush, who knows how many people or soldiers survived to go get them, except for these other troopers on the, the other rail car. So will they get helped by somebody else? Do they have some sort of parachuting thing? I don't know, man. It's a really like, can they like automatically make their ship fly to them? That seems like a tech you should have, but it's a little bit interesting to like, Osseo ship. I don't know, Accio, Accio ship. But yeah, so really filled episode. Didn't even get to the whole base we were crosshairs at. I'm even wondering like, legit are we even gonna get that this season i guess that could be something they're gonna leave up for next season getting all this information and stuff because it does it seems like there's too much to be filled for them to get and escape from this situation and then somehow well, that's the thing they lost their beacon they don't know how to get to this other base crosshairs at so how are they gonna solve that issue I guess we'll see are they gonna get caught and taken there that would be really sucky but i guess a good cliffhanger to leave the season on so we have the next episode to answer those questions. So thanks so much for watching this one, guys. If you want to support this video, if you made it this far, give the video a like. If you want to be alerted when future videos come out, subscribe. Another way to support and be alerted for your own self. But thanks so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one.